All right, what's good, YTBC? This your boy Ron, Modern King Boxing, Ronald Finkley, on YouTube. I'm a true friend to the boxing world. I feel like I promote fights. I feel like I make people come back to boxing. I feel like I'm not biased. I'm unbiased. And um, yeah, I just want to talk about this um, this fight that we might be getting November the 19th. As far as I've heard, it's a done deal. November the 19th, Las Vegas. Terrence Crawford versus Earl the True Spence. Terrence T. Bud Crawford, the Bengal Tiger versus Earl the True Spence, man down, the lion. This is the fight that everybody in America has been waiting for and abroad. The UK, the entire world, Australia. I would even say um, Ireland. I would even say freaking uh, Kazakhstan. You feel me? Like, yo, dog, if you're not fucking feeling this fight, this super fight, because it reminds me of, like, Sugar Ray Leonard versus Marvin Hagler, and it also reminds me of Sugar Ray Leonard versus versus um, Marvin Hagler. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is a fight for the ages. Shit, it reminds me of fucking um, Floyd Mayweather versus... Uh, What's that dude named? The the fucking, uh, the drunken master dude. You know what I mean? Like, you feel me? Like, this is a fight for the ages because you never know what's going to happen. I look at Terrence Crawford as like a Bengal tiger. I look at somebody who can aim for your juggler and he can like just knock you the fuck out when you slip up. Like, if your mouthpiece go missing, you're going to sleep, Earl. I'm going to just tell you straight up, you're going to fuck to sleep because he's a master boxer, bro. Just like the drunken master was a master boxer when he fought Floyd. You fucking with a dude who got paws, bro. Real paws. Paws that could put your ass to sleep. And you know what, Earl? I respect the fuck out of you, bro. You're a beast, yo. You, you do your thing, you know what I'm saying? You do your thing. You do your fucking thing. Like, you know what I mean? You be fucking... You be on some shit, yo. Like, I ain't gonna lie. You got some good body work. But your holes are, like, so noticeable, yo. You have so many holes that I feel. You know what I mean? Like, boxing ain't for the faint at heart. Boxing is for people like Hearns, Sugar Ray Leonard. You know Sugar Ray Leonard was a master boxer. And his ass would go to the fuck. He would fucking bang with you. But he also knew how to fight you smart like Terrence Crawford does. This ain't no fucking Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. This ain't no, like, slugfest. Or this ain't no shit like where it's, though, one man's just a better boxer and the other man's like a half boxer. Earl Spence can box. He can box. I'll give him that. You know what I'm saying? But when that mouthpiece go missing, boy, boy, when that mouthpiece go missing, you better fucking understand what you about to get. Because Terrence Crawford is a very patient, calculated, smart, athletic, foot movement boxer. I'm giving you some advice right now, Terrence. Earl Spence. I'm giving you some advice. This is like some advice shit because I've been studying boxing too long not to know what's going to happen to you, bro. So I'm glad you finally, you and uh, PBC and Al Hamo and all y'all made the fight finally. Because guess what? We all buying it. Everybody's buying this fight, bro. Nobody's streaming this shit. This is a classic sit down, get your popcorn moment. We're going to watch it from the intros that y'all come in the ring with. We're going to watch the build-up to the fight. Shout out to uh, BT, True School Sports TV. He broke the news yesterday. He was right last week about what the, the hold-up. It was the guarantee. So now we know that like True School Sports TV is authentic. He's true media. He's a very good person. And he don't lie. This ain't no like Doug Fisher shit. Like, this is some real shit. Like, True School is official. So we are getting the fight. It's a done deal. And, and it's going to be in 2022. Ain't that crazy? It's going to be in 2022, the year of undisputed, the golden year. 2022 has been a golden year. We've seen all the best matchups. We've even seen the agony of defeat with Anthony Joshua versus Usyk. You see what I'm saying? Like, the UK boxers, I appreciate them. I appreciate the American boxers somewhat, too. Like, the younger divisions, like Shakur Stevenson. My man, um, Stephen Fulton, you see what I'm saying? Ho um, David Benavidez, you know what I mean? Like, Jose Benavidez, you know what I mean? Like, people 
and, you know, and a slew of others. There's a slew of others. I can think of like a million right now. Like we got a fight tonight on ESPN. I'm going to watch it because ESPN be popping, yo. I got my subscription on that. And, and do me a favor, everybody. Start getting Dazzin again because Dazzin is official. ESPN is official. When they start making us pay for fights more, like, because I just got subscribed to them. So, I mean, I've been subscribed to them for a long time, but, like, ESPN's been popping. They kind of took over from, like, Thursday night fights. You know what I mean? So, ESPN's always been popping. And uh, Showtime started to get their shit together a little bit. But, you know what, man? This is the boxing game, yo. Let's just get it, man. I love boxing. I love the people that enjoy boxing. And I want us all to support boxing. You know what I mean? Like, because that's all we can do is support boxing. You know what I mean? Supporting is the key for me. Like, like we don't steal shit, yo. If you like a good fight, you bet on that shit. You talk to your, you have camaraderie with people. And you and you just love the sport. You know what I mean? Like, you love the sport. And that's what it is, yo. I'm going to stop fucking sounding like a fucking, fucking bitch made nigga right now. Real talk. Because I just like the sport. Whoever wins, wins. But yes, shout out to the boxing gods and goddesses worldwide. We got the fight we've been waiting for, and it's coming, official. They're going to announce it soon. Remember, I told you, True School Sports TV told everybody. Remember that part. And I'm out. One. We the Wolves. Let's get it.